So, you know, it's interesting because this sort of leads really well on from Rachel's question because this is an article today from, um, you know, real estate boom as UK property investors turn to regional cities. So it's interesting. Just watch this. This is just the start of an article. In the UK, investors who once looked to London for their foothold in property, they are now turning to regional cities instead. One of those cities is Manchester, once seen as the capital's lower tier northern cousin. Now it's seeing a multi-billion dollar real estate boom and Asian investors, you guessed it, have a big stake. Stuart so it's an interesting thing because, you know, they're saying that now, and this is just, that was just uh, today or yesterday, I think it was, that that come out, that special. Uh, actually, they're probably about five, even seven years too late, um, you know, but it is, you know, there is a lot of people looking back at it. You know, Singapore, if you take Singapore, for instance, Singapore, when they bought in the uh, total debt service ratio, which, which stopped people borrowing, um, it made it hard to get the money out of their, their properties here, the market cooled off. Yeah? And a lot of the UK agents really struggled to sell in Singapore. Now that started to pick up again. Yeah, Hong Kong picking up because obviously everyone wants to get their money out of Hong Kong, you know, before China takes over potentially, all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of demand coming from that. But also, you know, China, yeah, it's been hard to get the money out, but they are getting it out and they are buying a lot. By far, China is the biggest, Hong Kong is next, probably Singapore, Malaysia. But you know, the great thing, you know, our Vietnamese, Thailand, uh, Thailand you know, those sort of places too are actually starting to pick up now and we're getting our investors for those. Um, what has dropped off is the Middle Eastern investors. Yeah, so the middle, our Middle East side of things really has slowed down a lot because they can't get money out of their property. Their property has dropped forty percent. There, you know, it really has been decimated. There, they've lost jobs. They've had to move back. They've, you know, a lot of that sort of stuff has been going on. So yeah, but um, you know, look, it's it is good news. Manchester and Birmingham, okay, because that article could have just been about Birmingham as well. People are yes, London. You know, Manchester, Birmingham, that's where the lion's share is going, you know, but there's also Liverpool and there's also Leeds and, you know, and a few of the sort of secondary tier. But the problem is if you go outside those areas, the quantum isn't high enough to get lending on for most places. Yeah. So, you know, we've had a few clients who bought outside there, but they had to buy two, you know, at once. So, you know, fine. <laughs>